Oh, hi everybody. <laughs> Steve Krause coming at you for uh, English 444 online. Uh, I, I guess it's a, since it's an update about class, I need something a little bit more serious. And this lovely serene background that would be uh, appropriate for the upcoming winter break, but something more scholarly seems in order here. All right, this is this is more like it. Uh, here I am in the the library uh, area of my office here at Pre Herald. Um, you know. Nothing too fancy. Um, <laughs> uh, let me talk about a couple of things that are going on in class right now that are be, could be important for you to think about um, as we start go, moving into uh, winter break and then things that are coming up beyond uh, winter break. Okay. First, I want to talk a little bit about the content strategy assignment because a couple of people have asked me what exactly is it that I'm looking for with this project. Um, well, <clears throat> the, first, the first place I would encourage you to go look is at the assignment itself. First, you'll note that the assignment says that each group needs to collaboratively write a 2,500 to 3,000 word document outlining a content strategy for the nursing program website. This would include things like a um, checklist for things that you think need to be improved. Uh, a, it would include the audit. Uh, it would include a discussion of the audit, discussion of the strengths and weaknesses of the site. Um, Etc. And by including the audit, what I what I also mean by that too is actually including a spreadsheet uh, with this that literally goes through the way that Halverson talks about these things, talking about some of the key pages in the uh, site. If you've had a chance to talk with Darcy, who's the person we're, we're working with in uh, um, in the media area, uh, University of Communications, you would include some discussion about that part of the project as well, because after all. Yeah, that's that's all relevant. So you want to so essentially your report is going to be an analysis of what's there, uh, what you think is working, what you think is not working, and what it is that you think needs to be changed. Um, and that's that's pretty much it. I said twenty five hundred to three thousand words, just simply to suggest this is a sizable document. I think that that would be somewhere around the way of ten or twelve pages of tax, which considering the fact that these are group written projects shouldn't be that much. Now I do know that some groups have gotten smaller than others because of people either dropping the class or sort of disappearing from the class. And if you're in a situation where you're in a group that's become unusually small and you want to have a discussion about how can we mediate this a little bit, I'm all open to that. So just, just let me know. Um, the, the, the last thing I'll say about the content strategy is Imagine a situation where, and this is really what you should be trying to imagine, imagine a situation in which your company and your client is the university and specifically this College of Nursing page, how would you frame this document? How would you, as professionals, frame the document of, you know, this is, this is uh, our advice to you in terms of your content strategy? Because that's essentially what you're trying to do. Um, if you have questions about it, just ask. And the goal is for you to have something and this is another one of the questions that somebody asked. The goal is to have something posted and available for um, be, so beginning to sort of like talk, share and collaborate with each other about this on Google Documents by the end of this week. And it's due, as in like deadline due, uh, the Monday after break. Okay? Three other things going on in class right now that I wanted to alert you to as we head into the break, as we head into this last week. The first thing is, is that um, I'm going to look shortly after I get this video going and I'm my library is leaking through me here a little bit. <laughs> Surely after get this video going, I'm going to uh, go look at people's social media projects and uh, make a comment on everybody's blogs about that. Remember, that's a project that's been going that that goes on behind the scenes all semester long, and you need to post on your blog about updates about how things have been going with that. And that's, I mean, that's the nature of that assignment. You have to sort of like you know be proactive and keep involved in that. The second thing I'm going to be doing. Uh, that I want to point your attention to is the comments I've made for participation. Uh, winter break is essentially midterm for participation, and you'll note that I changed, as I posted on uh, the website, you'll note that I changed the grading scheme for that a little bit where four is check plus, three is check, two is check minus, and zero is absent. Absent meaning that you're just not posting all that week. If you want a graded thing to equate this to, four is an A, Three is a B, two is a C, and zero is zero uh, as an E. So, um, and you'll and it, what I'll do in terms of figuring out midterm participation grades is essentially average those. If you haven't been doing as well on participation as you would prefer, well, now you have some sort of metric to work with to think in terms of what you need to do for the second part of the semester for participation. Okay.
Uh, the third thing, and I think the last thing is, is about the XHTML CSS assignments. Because the other thing I'm going to do this week, instead of while looking at, um, while you guys are working with each other and getting your content strategy draft stuff going, because really, for the second part of the week in particular, there's no, there's no reading, it's just working on that stuff. And the reading for the first part of this week from the Reddit should, should be uh, helping you to think about your content strategy stuff. While you guys are working on that, what I'll be doing is making sure that everybody has their XHTML and CSS stuff for the first book under, uh, under control. And then um, we'll be getting into the second part of the, of the semester, which is this book. Uh, this is the one we get in HTML5. And um, uh, I'll be posting the schedule for all that on the website, and that'll be all set to go for you after winter break. But if you're stuck right now on the first book, that is, if you haven't completed the XHTML and CSS exercises 1 through 13, that's going to be an issue that we're going to have to sort of sort out probably right after break, because as I've said before, this isn't an optional assignment. Everybody needs to do it. And by doing it, that means you have to complete all these exercises. So if you're getting stuck with it, then that's where I come into play in terms of helping out with some of the technical stuff. Okay. Um, all right. I think that's it for now. Um, this library is just far, far too, con too confining for me. I, I have to get out of here. Ah, this is much more like it. In the sea, surrounded by the fishies. <laughs> Actually, I won't be doing this on my break. Uh, my winter break will be mostly uh, working on catching up on school stuff and getting the rest of these exercises going and uh, doing stuff around the house. So, uh, but anyways, this is the update for uh, between now, or, you know, for the for this part of the term. Uh, as always, if you have questions, um, post questions down there below too, especially if there's things you want to share with other people. And, and otherwise, I'll see you online.